Hello, 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 everybody. Trucker Real Deal coming here today with you guys for another quick little video. That sky behind me, as you guys can see, looks uh, very, very, very lovely today. 70 degrees out here today in Columbus, Ohio, and I'm loving it. But we're going to be really quick and brief. How do we know when there's an issue with our shocks? This is how you know. You see that? So this shock, you see that shock is all the way down here, right? Now the shock initially, you could probably see up over there. That should technically be up. It goes right into the shock mount right here. I pushed this shock down over 20 minutes ago and it has not came back up. So what does that tell me? That definitely tells you. I mean, you can also do you know, the test to see if the shock feels warm or cold or see if it's leaking. But those aren't always telltale signs. But I'm gonna show you guys another little trick that I learned. Well, something that I learned, not really a trick because it's not a good thing, but look. See this tire? So you're gonna see these areas where it's kind of lighter at. Well, I rub my hands. But long story short, if I rub my hand on this tire, there's some areas where it kind of goes like that a little bit, okay? Now, with it going like that, you know, because these are new tires on this truck when I bought it. So, first thing in my head is, what the hell is going on with my truck? So, I got to do on some research and whatnot, and let me give you guys some free game right here, okay? See, y'all folks, y'all, a lot of people want to take time out, you know, to pay people, to tell them shit. When, let me tell you something, all this knowledge out here is free in this trucking world that is to learn. How did I learn about the shocks in my tires? So I don't know everything. I'm learning some things as I go, you know, and I'm learning tricks of the trade a little bit at a time. Here's how I found out. It started off, I saw that little waviness on the inside of my tire. It wasn't super bad, but it still was noticeable because I could see how the tire was wearing one day. So what I did was I went on to Google, started looking up wear patterns. So I just want to tell you guys this. And of course it got confirmed. It told me that it was usually indicative of a shock. Well, look at that shock right there. Nothing. So I sell that to say is if you got time to sit around and watch um, other YouTubers, other bullshit videos, TV, drama, Facebook, and all that other shit like that. You got time to learn. Yeah, you have time to learn. So, that was a quick little update. Um, like I said, the rates are, eh, it's not worth my truck coming out right now. So I'm taking this time to get my truck together. So, shortly following this video, I'll be posting another video about the easy, quick procedure to change the shocks out on these freight liners and give you the uh, exact uh, dimensions for wrenches and tools you need and might even give you a little quick little uh, POV video of me doing it. But uh, yeah, so remember, if you got time to keep up with drama and other bullshit, you have time to learn something. And it doesn't cost you anything to look up shit on Google and learn. So, yep, you know what's happening. Thank you for tuning in.